Welcome back to Spoiler Free Wrestling, everyone. And when AEW Dynamite emanated from Atlanta's State Farm Arena, many fans noticed Raven attending the show. When Evil Uno and the spokesperson for the Dark Order appeared at ringside, Raven was only a few rows back. As Stu Grayson and Scorpio Sky began brawling in the crowd, Raven can be seen sitting and stoically watching the action. AEW then posted the following tweet with the caption, Did you see it? The Exalted One is always watching. And the tweet features a video where Raven is clearly visible watching the action. AEW teasing that Raven could be the Exalted One in the Dark Order angle is something that many fans of Ravens are likely excited about, as Raven has been involved with several similar factions and angles in the past. In ECW from 1994 to 1997, Raven led his nest with notable members Stevie Richards, the Pitbulls, the Blue Meanie, the Dudleys, Cactus Jack, Beulah McGillicuddy, Francine, Kimona Wanalea, Lori and Tyler Fullington, who are the Sandman's wife and son when Raven was involved in an epic rivalry with the Sandman, Lupus, and Chastity. When Raven went to WCW in 1997, he led the flock from 97 to 98, and that faction featured notable members such as Saturn, Hammer, Kidman, Lodi, Riggs, Sick Boy, Reese, Horace. Canyon was briefly a member of the group, but largely was separate from the rest of the flock, and always bringing signs to the ring was Lodi. Then in the later stages of WCW from 1998 to 1999, Raven was a member of a faction known as the Deadpool or the Dark Carnival. And this group consisted of the Great Muda, Vampiro, and the Insane Clown Posse. Then when Raven went to TNA Wrestling, in 2003, he formed The Gathering that lasted from 03 to 04, including the notable members CM Punk, Julio De Niro, Alexis Lurie, and Cassidy Riley. Then in 2006, also with TNA Wrestling, Raven started a clockwork orange styled faction known as Serotonin. And this faction features members such as Johnny Devine, who is known as Havoc, Frankie Kazarian, who is known as Kaz while in Serotonin, and Michael Shane, who is known as Martyr. Now, AEW and even the Dark Order themselves have hinted that Christopher Daniels might be the Dark Order's exalted one. If Daniels is revealed as the leader of the faction, it wouldn't be the first time there had been plans for the Fallen Angel to lead a dark cult-type faction. Daniels was originally planned to be revealed as the Undertaker's higher power during the Ministry of Darkness angle in the late 1990s. This is what Bruce Pritchard said on an episode of his podcast regarding Christopher Daniels being planned to be the Undertaker's higher power. Here's what he said. Well, Russo is getting credit for this one, folks. This is the one where you go back to the old Christopher Daniels. Vince Russo had the idea of using Christopher Daniels as the fallen angel to be the higher power until I think Vince actually saw him and was like, What the hell? How is he going to work with The Undertaker? How is he going to do this? And all this other shit. Based on his size. Chris is a hell of a talent, hell of a worker, but it was just based on everything else didn't really match up. Then Christopher Daniels took part in an interview with Fan Sided and noted that a similar idea had been in the works for him in WCW. So he's talking about Bruce Pritchard's comments that he was to be the higher power in WWE. When I first heard of this, I sort of likened it to my actual experience with WCW when they brought me in. Originally, the plan was for me to be Vampiro's boss. 
When Vampiro was in the midst of his feud with Sting, they wanted me to be Vampiro's superior. Vampiro's superior. Which, to me, felt like it was going to be a letdown because I hadn't been established on television yet. Vampiro was in this feud with the top star of the company, and they wanted the mystery of who was Vampiro's boss. Then to reveal it was me, I hadn't been on television, and I had no name value to the WCW audience. So, like, to me, it would have fallen flat, and I feel it was the wrong position to debut an unknown in. And looking back on the higher power thing, too, like, if all of this had gone down with The Undertaker and all of this stuff, and you find out it's a guy who's never been on national television for WWE before, a complete unknown guy, if that was the reveal, it seems like it would have fallen flat. Like, who is this guy? So, I mean, I sort of understand why it didn't work, and I don't blame anybody for thinking maybe that's not the direction to go. Conceivably, I'm sure somebody would have tried a way to make it work. Yeah, I heard about it. I heard Bruce talk about it. People have told me that Bruce mentioned that it was me, but I sort of see why it didn't work. So, will Christopher Daniels be revealed as the Exalted One from the Dark Order? Is Raven the Exalted One from the Dark Order? We'll keep you up to date on everything going on with AEW and the Dark Order angle. Just make sure you hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any news or reports from Spoiler Free Wrestling.